This is a 1953 Chevy Ambulance, and it's at the Classic Car Museum of St. Augustine, and it just shows you the development that has gone on in the rescue squad and ambulance uh, area. Essentially, a, a station wagon that has uh, a rear door modification. Of course, the sides modified too, but there's very little room. There's room for the gurney and room for an attendant and two people up front, and that's it. And uh, there's low headroom. And it boasts the idea that it's radio dispatched, <clears throat> which I think is a, a big step forward. They could be on a run and uh, find out where the next uh, call is without having to go back to a home base. <laughs> Notice the fan. And you saw the uh, individual there on the gurney. And very minimal equipment here. They do have a uh, spotlight on the left. And we do have a radio telephone, which is right there. Notice how little headroom there is for the for the patient, or for the attendant, for that matter. How little room there is for medical equipment and supplies. Today, it's amazing what they have, uh, but here's basic uh, minimal stuff. The idea, I think, was to get you to the hospital, <laughs> and that that was and maybe stop the bleeding, and maybe get you breathing again, but. Uh, very minimal. Notice the floors of the museum. That's that's really sharp. I don't know. I suspect. I don't know what it is. I have a feeling it's concrete, but I don't know. And certainly there weren't many lights on this vehicle either to indicate uh, that it was uh, an emergency vehicle. So stopping on the highway, you would uh, have your life in your hands. But uh, very interesting where the rescue squad came from. <laughs>